I went over the three ways that CO2 is transported earlier. This would be CO2 unloading from the systemic tissues, body tissues, and then so that's where most CO2 is. How is it gonna be carried? Most of it is going to be carried as bicarbonate. That's HCO3, dissolved in the plasma. We'll see how it gets to that form next. That's called bicarbonate. And that's about 70%. About seven to 10% is just gonna be dissolved in the plasma. It's more soluble than oxygen, carbon dioxide is. That's just gonna to contribute to the PCO2, just free CO2 in the plasma dissolved. Then lastly, we've got bound to hemoglobin. So one, two, three, about 20% is going to be bound to hemoglobin. That's HbCO2. Let's um, draw you this equation quickly for carbon dioxide combining with hemoglobin. It's gonna be easier than this other one we're gonna to get to later. CO2 plus HB can go both ways, HB, CO2. So carbon dioxide can actually bind to hemoglobin. You already know this because you know about the Bohr effect um, that's due to high levels of carbon dioxide represented by high PCO2 that's going to contribute to the shift in oxygen hemoglobin saturation that allows for oxygen unloading. So by having high carbon dioxide, you also enable high oxygen unloading. And that's through this relationship with hemoglobin directly. It changes the shape of hemoglobin. All right, we're going to look at this equation in the next video, how we get to that bicarbonate.